say, well, you know, let's, let's try to, uh, you know, identify and visualize your ideal customer. So, le- and, and, and I always say, when someone comes in and say, all vegetarians are my client. I'm just giving the same example. I'm like, no, 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 not all vegetarian. You, it's, it's too big. So let's just start to narrow, you know, either it's a geographically you're narrowing it you, or you're narrowing it by the behavior, by the age group, whatever. So, so you really want, when you are starting, you want to first planning is you have to do is you say, who exactly is my, uh, my ideal customer, right? So, so you, that you are going to be thrilled with. And, and then at that point, you, once you have the ideal customer, you know what will happen? All of a sudden the messaging will start to become very clear, right? What, what is the message that will appeal to this, uh, this customer? Of course, your product offering will start to you know, crystallize and say, okay, this is, this is uh, what I want to offer. So, so once, once you have that, then, then you just test it. So, so, so now, you know, thanks to even though with all the, and frankly, you know, I am with the group where I think that the Facebook and Google have become way too powerful for my taste, but for marketing, actually, it's, it's a wonderful platform then, right? So you can really narrow focus and a, your um, the ideal customer that you want. And, and now you have the messages, so you, you can very, very quickly test it. Now, I have never seen anyone be successful in the first shot because what you think and what really happens is all, almost always different. But, but, but then that gives you a starting point where you have the messaging, you can, you can now attract you know, the kind of uh, people that you want. So either they are going to like your message and, and you know, as you thought they will and get attracted or you have to tweak the message. And once they come in, then you offer their product, either they are going to like it or you need to tweak it. So uh, when you're starting it, it is almost never happens that from the get go, you hit, you know, you hit it off the ballpark. It, it just does not happen. And, and by the way, this is no different for big companies. I have worked for really major corporation. I'm like top 10 uh, uh, largest corporations in the world also. And I've worked on startups and everything. And the big companies, you will be amazed how much testing they do before a product is launched. Uh, so that's what, as a, as a startup, you have to do that. You have to test to find out which message works. You know, what, how do you tweak your product so that it, it is now, you know, appeals to everyone. And so, so that is the, the beginning. That's how you, you start. So I think, I think this is great. I want to dive deeper on, the, on this testing and um, time to launch because like how, how ready does the product need to be? And, and is it just like an idea that you can throw out there and then just start getting feedback as soon as possible? Exactly. So, so there is a, something I call the minimum uh, viable product, right? Uh, you, I'm sure that most of your audience has heard of it. So you, that's what you want to create, the minimal viable product. And actually, uh, even if you have patchwork, so for there are some platforms that I am involved in building for, uh, you know, in partnership, right, as, as an investor. So, you know, the platform has certain features uh, that we want to launch, like Repigen is a platform and we did the same thing. So I said, okay, what is the core thing that, that I have to have? Right. And, and then what, the moment you have it, it doesn't have to be perfect. You launch it because th- when you attract uh, your uh, new customers and, you know, if you can afford to do that, you can give them some free trial. If you cannot, you charge, but, but you set the expectation very clearly that, listen, uh, we are your, you know, the customer, this is the feature, but I'm also looking to you for advice. Uh, and, and then, that's when you launch. Uh, Repugen right now is is one of, I think that that really way up there in terms of any product uh, with a similar kind of uh, uh, service that it does. But you will be surprised that 80% of the features that we have now, because it looks like all these uh, bells and whistles in there, came from customer. So customers, we launch it. We the the core functionality it was getting done and then we'll go and sit down and meet with them and say so what you know what else would you like to do 
how how you know and they were like oh i want this kind of reporting i want and and yes you know now we use them to give us the feedback to how to improve the product and 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 again in any business improvement never ends right so you have to keep on improving so you just you know the constant feedback so you have to decide the minimal uh, viable product and that has to handle the core features that that's the only thing i would say and then then you just launch i mean and by the way not everything that you will launch as an entrepreneur will also succeed so so along those i have had several false starts also you know that i thought great idea and didn't work so again when you launch with the minimum viable product then i always say if you have to fail and which you will fail if you're an entrepreneur fail quickly fail cheaply so so that you are still standing and you can go after uh, you know something else